2022 has been an incredible year for boxing. There have been several great performances and many more lined up for the most spectacular knockouts from heavy hitters in the heavyweight division. In this fight, Tristan Kalkruth defeated Santander Silgado in the second round of their scheduled sixth round via knockout. Kalkruth connected with a powerful right hand that landed on the jaw of Silgado and dropped him to the canvas. Right hand it's from over. Cal Cruz. It's over. Looks at Salgado and it is over. Here, Joshua. Hey. Nice right hand, solid right hand. Right down the middle. And the knee. Full leverage. Christian Prengas stopped Deshaun Webster in round two of their scheduled six round bout. You got you gotta see. Despite that 42-pound weight, never. Prenga scored his first knockdown with a right hand in the second round, followed by a vicious uppercut that sent Deshaun to sleep. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. That's it. He slid that through his guard. We, uh, we also got to say we're glad, we're glad that uh, Webster is okay. He's walking out of here on his own power, so that should be known. That should be made known. That was the immediate concern when he went down, and he went down hard and heavy, but like you said, walking off. Luis Ortiz versus Charles Martin at the Seminole Hard Rock Cafe and Casino in Florida. Pounds with a record of in the first round, Martin dropped Ortiz with a right hand to the side of the head. And again in the fourth round. Martin drops Ortiz again. Ortiz survived the two knockdowns and made a huge comeback in the sixth round. He battered Martin with a series of punches that knocked him into the ropes. Martin was able to beat the referee's count, but Ortiz continued to punish him with more heavy shots that sent him down for a second time. Showing us how to do it right here. It's, oh, he's going to be over this He's going to stop good. Martin ain't making it out of this round. A lot of time oh. lost. Down he goes again. Just a big beating on a barrage from Ortiz. There's still a minute 30 left here. Second knockdown of the round. Also at the Seminole Hard Rock and Casino, Victor Faust stopped his opponent, Iago Kiladze, in the second round of their bout. They started with a wild first round with a total of three knockdowns. Faust was down once and Kiladze was down twice. The second round was no different, with Kiladze scoring the first knockout with a powerful right hand. Faust got back to his feet and caught Kiladze with a combination of his own that sent him to the canvas for the third time in the fight. Of this fight, and we're only in the second round. Oh my God. I've never seen this in my life. No. Crazy. Hey, you want to fight? Come to me. I saw it one time. Back in but he nodded. Then we'll watch this again. When he said, do you want to continue, he nodded like, yes. And he didn't say take a step what forward. Happened? Well, he did say step forward. And he, he did take a step forward, but maybe not quick enough for the referee. Watch this. All right, we're going to listen to the knockdown, and okay. then we'll listen to the referee, Samuel Burgos, just to hear exactly what happened. So let's go back and try to listen and see if we can hear it. The Polish boxer Jakub Zosinski brutally ended the fight with his Greek opponent, Panagiotis Pantazis, in the opening round of their bout in Poland. Zosinski dropped Pantazis twice in the first round and ended it with a combination of brutal punches that knocked him out cold. <laughs>
In this scheduled eight-round fight, all that Sonny Bill Williams needed to finish Barry Hall was two minutes. Williams dropped Hall with a left hook in the first minute of the fight, and the referee almost waved the fight over. But Hall got back to his feet, only to be floored two more times by Williams. celebrate and let's study what happened here there's a right wow. shot he didn't miss Barry he was so yep. accurate I'm oh, sorry Sonny he was just so accurate the temple shot just oh. above the ear perfectly legal and Barry was in a whole lot of trouble from this point on I'm just so impressed with that performance by Sonny Bill Williams. Uh, Barry, I've been singing Barry's praises, and I'll always yeah. sing his... This unique fight between the sons of two boxing legends took place at the theater at the Virgin Hotel in Las Vegas. The deciding moment of the fight came in the fifth round when Morrison floored Rahman with a big left, followed by a series of punches. Rahman was able to beat the referee's count but Morrison intensified his actions, forcing the referee to stop the fight shortly after that. No, he's not okay. He's got a minute and a half. He's not okay. Wow! Wow! Referee. Right here we see this. Um, that straight right hand is what hurt him right there. That straight right hand was bad. He was hurt right there. He stood there for a minute. Then he followed with uppercut, followed by a left hook, and down he went. He was hurt really bad from that right hand. But when he got up, he was okay. And when you see him with his hands, right, see his hands now, he's small, he knows what he's doing. So he's back together pretty much. He caught with the jab, he got caught with the upcut that we didn't go down, his legs didn't buckle. So he still was in the fight. He still was in the fight, so the referee stopped up a little early, yes. Pavel Sauer defeated Hanya Atino via knockout in the final seconds of the third round of their bout. Sauer dominated the second round in Florida, Tia, with a powerful overhand right. A je to super těžká. Although Atia wanted to continue fighting, the referee thought otherwise and stopped the fight. Rozhodčí to zastavil. Já si myslím, že je to v pořádku, protože se zvednul ani podle mě ani nevěděl. Chinese boxer Zhilei Zhang, rightly nicknamed as Big Bang, made quick work of Scott Alexander by finishing him with a straight left hand in the first round of their bout. Alexander content just to stick around. Oh, he just made the ultimate box! A straight left hand, and down goes Scott Alexander in a huge way, and the Big Bang is back! That is the right hand that I was talking about. Alexander was out before he even hit the canvas. Russian boxer Arslan Bek Makhmunov defeated Polish boxer Marius Wach in the sixth round of their bets, including a right hand to the jaw that dropped Wach to the canvas. Well, 